Welcome to Craft Academy. I'm your host Miko and I'm going to be taking you through the first tutorial in the Noobs Challenge. In the Noobs Challenge, the first goal, you're going to learn how to set up a new Minecraft single player world. You're going to learn how to control your avatar. You're going to learn how to use your inventory and you're going to learn how to break and remove blocks. So go ahead and log into Minecraft and uh, get your account set up. If you don't have an account, that's all right because uh, you can run the demo version and that'll still allow you to play in single player mode, which is what we're going to be using today. So once you've gotten logged in, go ahead and click on single player and click on create new world. And we are going to name this world the noobs, oops, noobs challenge. And then we're going to change the game mode to creative and that's going to allow us to fly around and hunt, have unlimited inventory. And then you click on more world options. We're going to change the world type to super flat and turn structures off. And then you're going to go ahead and click create new world. I'm going to skip ahead and jump right into the world that I already created because it takes a little while for the computer to generate a new world, even if it's super flat. And then once you enter the world, you'll notice that it is indeed a super flat world. Lots of places for us to, to build. So hit the escape button and that's going to take you to the game menu and we're going to click on options and you can set all different types of options which you can play around with on your own time but really I wanted to show you the controls because that's kind of important to us right now. So as you see the W, A, S and D buttons are the ones that are going to move you around. You have button 1 which is your left mouse button and button 2 which is your right mouse button and the I for inventory and those are the ones we're going to focus on today. So if you hit escape, it takes you back to the game and if you use W, W is going to move you forward, S will move you back, A will move you to the left, D will move you to the right. Now spacebar is there for jumping, or in creative mode, if you double tap the spacebar and hold it down, you'll notice that I just flew up off the ground. If I hold the shift key down, that's going to send me towards the ground. And if I double tap again, voila, we're back into walking mode. So that becomes very, very helpful as you fly much quicker than you do walk. You hit the I button, that's going to bring up your inventory bar. And you notice there is a whole lot of different inventory items that you can choose from to select to use in the game. This bottom row is your toolbar, and those are the items that are going to be available to you as you're playing the game. So I'm going to grab a few items, so I'm going to right, or excuse me, left click, and then left click again, and it's just going to drop those items into my toolbar. And then if you hit escape again, it takes you back to the game and you notice those items are still in my toolbar. So in order to select those items in your toolbar, you just use the number keys or you can use the mouse scroll wheel. So one will refer to the first item in your toolbar, two for the second, three for third, so on and so forth. So we'll start with the dirt block and you'll, I'll use my cursor to select a place where I want to place that block. And you'll notice that wherever I put my cursor, there's a black outline showing me the block in that where I'm going to be placing. So if I click the right mouse button, that's going to place the block. If I hit the left mouse button, that's going to destroy the block. Well, let's put something a little more easy to see. So as you can see, then Minecraft and building is really simple because all you're doing is just clicking on the areas and, uh, and that's it. Now a couple nice tricks, if you hold down the button and then move backwards or forwards, you can then do a whole series of blocks really quickly and uh, people end up getting really, really fast at placing and removing blocks. So there you are. That's the basics of the game. Uh, in this tutorial, you, you've learned how to make a single player world super flat in creative mode. You've learned how to control your avatar. You've learned how to manipulate your inventory and you've learned how to place and remove move blocks. So that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much. This has been Craft Academy. We'll see you next time.